Welcome back to another episode of the Ark Survival Guide. So on the last episode, uh, episode 47, we tried really hard to tame lots of different dolphins and uh, failed miserably at all of them. We lost a lot of prime meat and a lot of time and uh, you know just didn't really get anywhere. Dolphins are so hard to tame, they're very fickle. So today I'm going to show you a much more effective method. So uh, we actually managed to let tame this level 39 dolphin where last time we couldn't even tame a level 4. We tried really hard. So uh, watch the rest of the episode and I'll show you how. Alright, so what we're going to do today um, is we're actually going to build a trap so that we can trap a dolphin. And I've noticed that as long as you've got some food in your inventory, on the last slot you need some uh, fish meat of some kind. It can be prime or uh, regular fish meat. It's better if it's raw, it's better if it's prime, but you know the cooked versions also work, just not as well. And as long as you've got some meat in your inventory, the, uh, fit, the dolphins will actually follow you and kind of chase you around until you feed them. But as soon as you feed a dolphin a little bit, it starts losing interest and just swims away, and you've just wasted all that time and effort. It's almost impossible to keep up with a dolphin. They just swim way too fast, and uh, they just take off. You know, you, you might not catch it ever again. So, after trying a lot last episode, we're going to try a totally different method. So, what I'm doing here, I've built three large dinosaur gateways, stone ones, so that we'll be nice and safe. Now, I wanted to make a pen for my dolphin to park it in, because after you've tamed a dolphin, once you get that thing safely tamed, sharks will just come from miles around and eat it. So it's not even really safe even after you've tamed it. So what I'm doing here is I am trying to figure out exactly where I can place this so that I can have a nice corner around this little spot. There's like a little uh, corner in the rock. And I'm going to try to use just two of the three stone dinosaur gateways that I made. And if I can place this just right, I should be able to get a nice area that is just about perfect. Yes. Okay, perfect. So these gateways will actually snap to each other just a little bit. And I'm trying to place them so they go into the rock and into each other so there's a seamless barrier all the way around. So that should be too small for even a ray to fit through. And so I'm okay with that gap right there. Let's check this side. Perfect. That is clipping into the rock, and it is just barely above the water. I can't quite jump out of here, and I can't quite get on top of this gate. But that's kind of a bummer, because I was able to get up here, but the gate is blocking it just a little bit. But we'll maybe make a ramp to fix that, because that's, that's going to get real annoying very quickly. So there's a dolphin right down there. I'm going to try to get him to come into this pen once I'm finished. But I also made a couple large gateways, and uh, so I'm actually going to make the gates themselves now. And those will just easily snap right in here, and I should be able to do it from the top. And this is kind of nice. I can just walk along this little gateway here. And there we go. So now we have two huge gates that are going to work here. And I'm going to open these up so that uh, we can actually get this dolphin to come in here. Ah, I'm so close to being able to jump out of the water here, but it is just not quite working. And I can't find a good spot to get up this path. So I think I'm going to have to actually build a ramp, because otherwise I'll have to open the doors every time I want to get out of here. So, And you don't really want to drown in your own dolphin pen. That would be a pretty stupid way to go. So let me see if I can get this closed from up here. This will also be handy if we ever want to trap a shark. Oh, that was crazy. I caught my own poop. <laughs> Awkward, whatever. So, yeah, I think that's going to work nicely. I can't quite close the gates from up here, but that's fine. So I'm going to head back to my base and grab some materials, and uh, we're actually going to craft a wooden ramp. So I've got one wooden ramp, and oh, there's that dolphin sticking out right there. I love how they do that. It makes them really easy to spot from far away. So I've got a thatch foundation that I'm going to place down here. I'm just doing this quick and easy. Just wanted something that'll make it 
nice and easy for me to hop in and out because I'm going to be doing a lot of that if I contain this dolphin. So I want to place this foundation so that the ramp is going to go down into the water. And I'm going to try to angle this just right so that it will place the end of the ramp just down into the water so I can go into it. I'll be pretty careful with how I do this because if I place it wrong I'll just have to start over again. And I think that's going to work nicely. Okay, great. And let's see if this ramp snaps properly. Oh, that is totally wrong. Okay, and it's backwards. There we go. That's what we're looking for. And it is going right down into the water. Perfect. We don't have much of an overhang, which is another thing I was worried about. You don't want to put a roof over your head when you're trapped underwater. So, yeah, there we go. We have a very nicely working rat, um, pen here. And I'm going to open up these doors so that I can go find that dolphin right there. It might take me a minute to get him to follow me. Oh, hey, this is cool. This is an actual trilobite, not a sea scorpion. And I'm going to see if I can hit him without actually wasting any ammo. There we go. So these guys give you pearls a lot of times, oil, and chitin, which are all really helpful to have. But the uh, pearls and oil are very rare when you're starting out the game, but they're very helpful later on. So that's something we're going to be really happy to have. So I always grab a trilobite every time I see one. All right, we should be in pretty good shape, and I'm just going to scout around and see if there's any better dolphins to grab than that one we saw there. So we are back. I have scouted the area, and this was the best, actually the only dolphin that's close enough to the pen that we just built that I can probably get him to follow me back. And this is a level 39. I would normally get a much lower level dolphin, but... I'm going to give this a shot because we should have a pretty easy time taming this guy because he is going to be trapped in this pen, which means no matter how long it takes to actually tame him and how much meat we have to use, he's not going to be able to escape this pen. So I'm trying to get him to follow me and he is not cooperating. Uh, I just need him to get a little closer. There we go. And boom. We have ourselves a dolphin who is trapped. So, now, this is really important. I did not feed him a single bite of food until I got him into this pen. And I just gave him some cooked prime meat, and his feeding just barely even moved. So, this is going to be a long, difficult tame, but we are not going to give up. So... I tried to feed him for a little while and realized that his taming was barely moving, like barely moving. So I just jumped in the water trying to shoot some rays and died. Yeah, stingrays can be deadly. Um, you know, even the crocodile hunter that we all loved and miss, uh, you know, couldn't handle stingrays. So that's uh, he 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 got away from. Just hundreds of deadly animals, and it was the stingrays that got him. So I, I don't feel too bad. I, I have no shame in dying from rays. Um, but, you know, it was pretty handy because we have a bed on our raft, and we were able to respawn literally 10 feet from our corpse. So these rays are still here. Um, they're still trying to eat me, so I'm going to try to stay out of the water. I was shooting them from this little ledge right here and just slipped off and the shore was just too steep to climb out of, and that's, that's why they got me. I normally just hop in and jump right back out. So I'm going to try to reach this inventory. There we go. So I got all my inventory back without going back in the water, and I just reparked my raft so it's a little further away from my dolphin, and since it's far enough away from my dolphin, I was able to turn my turrets back on. So I've had my turrets asleep this entire time because I didn't want them to kill any of the dolphins I was trying to tame. That would have been really sad. So the first thing I did when I started taming stuff is turned off all my turrets. Now they're back on and they are just shooting down everything in sight, including these seagulls that I hate so much. So free, easy meat. It uh, doesn't get much better than that. So I'm making sure both of my turrets are woken up and they are just mowing down all the dinos nearby which is great it makes it really easy 
I haven't actually seen any dangerous animals on this uh, little plateau here, so I'm kind of bummed that there's dilos and stuff spawning. Because I thought it might actually be a safe place to just leave my dinosaurs, but uh, we'll have to be a little more careful with them now. So with these plant species X turrets on top of my base, they are shooting down and slowing down all the enemy animals that are out here, which makes it really easy for me to fight them. And I ran out of uh, arrows, so I'm just using this sword to slice these guys because they can't even turn around fast enough to get me. So as you can see, we're going super, super fast, but I'll slow down a little bit while I'm fighting these sharks. So sharks normally will swim up and kill you, but with these uh, turrets slowing them down so much, they can't even get to me. Like they're barely moving and I'm just able to shoot them down before they even get close. So if this was uh, in normal speed, those sharks would have barely been moving. So I've got a lot of prime meat. Now I tried using the sickle to um, harvest prime meat because supposedly, like I've heard that it's better for gathering prime meat, but it looks like it's not actually. So I didn't get any prime meat when I used that, so I've been sticking with the pickaxe. So we are back now. It took almost an entire day and it's evening at this point. And so we spent all day and all night feeding this guy slowly, feeding him tons of prime meat and then little bits of regular meat here and there. And each time I would feed him regular fish meat, he would gain a tiny bit of taming and then lose most of that taming. So I was barely making any progress, but we got him and we almost suffocated to death and drowned in the process of naming him. But check this out. I fed it a bunch of prime meat and uh, now I'm going to rename this guy now that I'm not, uh, you know, actually drowning at this point. But I am freezing to death because it's almost morning and uh, it's really cold in this water. But here we go. We tamed a level 39 dolphin. And even though it took all night, it has gained so much taming infinity from all of the uh, prime meat that we fed it that it is now a level 50 something. So... Yeah, that's how you tame a dolphin the right way. Tune in next time and uh, we will actually ride this dolphin. We'll see you next episode.